Making Disciples. We are developing leaders. And changing lives. Creating churches, unchurched and de churched people love to attend. We are Relevant Kingdom Center. It's good to be back at RKC. Um, today's message was really inspiring. I should have heard it a few years ago. Could have avoided some mistakes, but moving forward, I would. I know now what to do. I'd first, I'd like to thank Relevant Kingdom Center for the awesome experience that I had today. From the time I walked in the door, it was the ambience, the atmosphere of praise began to lift every concern that I came into the ministry with. And as praise and worship went on, I can say that I began to, the Holy Spirit began to work a new thing in me. I am completely revived. I look forward to attending every service if I could. I mentioned to the head pastor that I would relocate a family of seven just to be a part of this ministry. Exuma is blessed to have it, and I thank God for it. It used me today in a great way. It used me within myself to bring myself up because of what happened here, and I thank God for it. Thank you to the pastors and to my mother, Thompson, that, Thomas, that invited me. God sent Jesus then. He didn't send him to start a monument. He sent him to start a movement. Let me say it one more time. When God sent Jesus, he didn't send him to start monuments. What that mean, Pastor? He didn't send him to build big buildings with stained glasses. Come on now, somebody. He sent him, amen, watch this, so that now he does not have to dwell in buildings that were crafted by the hands of man. But now he can be dwelling in buildings that have been crafted by the hands of God himself. God sent his son to start relationship and not a religion. Angelique from RKC Bahamas and I'm Damari from RKC Florida and we're excited because it's Easter yes Damari it's where we get to celebrate the resurrection of our Savior so with that being said we want you guys watching to spread the news that Easter isn't canceled no it's not so help us out and like this stream and if you're on Facebook you can share it and even consider starting a watch party because it's about to be lit no cap <laughs> It's going to be a great day. If you missed it, we started a new sermon series called The Good Citizen. Here's a relevant rewind on how Pastor C kicked us off. In Matthew chapter 3, we see at the beginning of Jesus' ministry, um, he came preaching and declaring the same message as John the Baptist. Watch what he says. He says, repent for the kingdom of heaven is near. I believe why Jesus used this kingdom language is he really wanted to help us to understand and not just back then but today this message applies for us today as well in the 21st century he wants us to understand that we are from another country that means that we are to live now on earth as kingdom citizens that's why when the entire world now is responding in fear we have to understand that, hey, we are citizens of another country, that we are citizens of heaven. And so when this world responds in fear, we have to respond in faith. That's why you can't be tripping when you lose your job. 
That's why you can't be tripping when you get a bad doctor's report because you understand that, hey, you are a child of the king, that you are a citizen of another kingdom. You are a citizen of another world. You understand that your daddy is the king and there's nothing that he won't do for you. That's why you're not shaking when you see lack. You're not, you're not, you're not angry when you see things going bad around you because you have the Prince of Peace that's living on the inside of you and you're holding on to the promises of the King. That there is power in his blood. There is power in his name. And if you declare that he is your King, not just the King of the Jews, listen, but this crucified King was my crucified King. Now you move under the jurisdiction of this King. You move under the power of this King, under the protection of this King. You accept the sacrifice that this King has made. And now you can boldly declare with the Psalmist in Psalms 91 that says that they that dwell in the shelter of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. You can declare with the Psalmist that a thousand will fall at your left and 10,000 at your right but evil will not come near your dwelling. You can declare that everything that is not like, like him has to pass over your life because not only do you have insurance, but you've got assurance. Wow, I cannot wait for today's message and experience. You guys watching still have time to share this and help us get this word to the world. And if you're watching on our online campus, let our service hosts know that you're there. Well, Angelique, with that being said, it's about that time and we're getting ready to start. Let's, Let's do, do this. this. Suddenly, there was a great earthquake. For an angel of the Lord came down from heaven, rolled aside the stone, and sat on it. He said, Don't be afraid. I know you are looking for Jesus, who is crucified. He isn't here. He's risen from the dead, just as he said would happen. The conqueror, victorious king and lord over every living thing. They tried to reject him, but he couldn't be ignored. They tried to take him out, but he couldn't be defeated. They said he was dead, but they didn't know the ending. Mighty Savior, he reigns forever. Jesus is alive. Happy Easter, y'all. We're here to serve and worship a risen king. There was a time I used to look into my father's eyes. In a happy home, there was a king on a gold throne. Those days are gone, now the memory's on the wall. And I hear the song of the places where I was born. Up on a hill, I heard the earthquake. That's where I had my first heart break And I felt it all change My father said Don't you worry, don't you worry, child Heaven's got a plan for you Don't you worry, don't you worry now yeah. Woo! Come on, y'all God's have a plan for you. Don't you worry, don't you worry now. Don't you worry, don't you worry, child. See, heaven has a plan for you. Don't you worry, don't you worry now. Yeah. Come on, y'all ready to give him praise? Yeah, it's Easter Sunday, this is how we do it. 
Y'all ready for this? Y'all ready for this? Y'all ready for this? Uh, uh. Don't you know that Jesus saved? He got up from that grave. And now we praise him because he is the ancient of days. Everybody raise those hands. Raise them high to the sky. Because Jesus Christ, he is the king of day and king of night. There's nothing that can feed him. Nothing that could beat him. I'm so glad that my king is undefeated. And this is why I praise. This is why I say, no matter what I'm going through, it's always a beautiful day. Woo! Don't you worry, don't you worry, child. Heaven's got a plan for you. Yeah. Don't you worry, don't you worry now. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah. Don't you worry, don't you worry, child. Heaven's got a plan for you. Don't you worry, don't you worry, child. Yeah. Don't you worry, don't you worry, child. See, heaven has a plan for you. Don't you worry, don't you worry now. Cause it's a beautiful day. Can it slip away? It's a beautiful day. Come on, y'all. It's a beautiful day. Hey, 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 hey. Don't let it slip away. Happy Easter, y'all. Welcome to our online Easter experience today. It is so good to have all of you viewing in from all around the world. Right now, we're going to go right into our scripture reading for today, which is taken from 1 Peter chapter 1 and verse 3. And the scripture reads, Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his great mercy, he has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Amen. Let us pray. Our God and our Father, we give you thanks. We give you praise for all that you have done. Thank you for rising up with the keys for death, hell, and the grave. We honor you and we give you glory because we know, Father God, that with you, all things are now possible. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We serve a risen king. Death could not hold him. He's a God that turns graves into garden. Just worship that king with me. Yes, I searched the world, but it couldn't fail me. Man's empty praise and treasure that fade are never enough. You came along and you put me back together and every desire is now satisfied here in your love. Oh, there's nothing better than you. There's Nothing is better than you. Oh, I know it's true. Yes, Lord. I'm not afraid. No, I'm not. To show you my weakness, my failures and flaws. Lord, you've seen them all. And you still call me friend cause the God of the mountain is the God of the valley there's not a place your mercy and grace won't find me again oh there's nothing Search 
watch all over Lord there's nothing better than you there's nothing better than you Lord there's nothing nothing is better than you Whoa. come on if you believe it just declare this with me Hallelujah, you turn mourning to dancing. You give beauty for ashes. Oh, you turn shame into glory. You're the only one who can. You turn mourning to dancing. Yes, you give beauty for ashes. You turn shame into glory. You're the only one who can. You turn graves into gardens. You turn bones into armies. You turn seas into highways. You're the Lord yes Jesus because you rose father we have certainty that our sins have been forgiven because of your resurrection it's a firm of your faithfulness your love for us your word your life Jesus all power is in your hands My weakness is hidden within your glory. Jesus, my strength is in you. Yes, it is. The odds are against me. You are for me. Jesus, my strength is in you, yes, and power belongs to the one who was and is to come, power belongs to our God, hallelujah. Yes, oh power, mm -hmm. my 
steps have been ordered you go before me god i'm depending on you and only you yes the hope of my future found in you only god i'm depending on you oh power belongs to the one who was and is to come and power belongs to our god to our risen King. Don't you feel his presence in the atmosphere today? Our God is truly awesome and he is risen with all power in his hands. Amen and amen. It is so good to have you guys visiting, visiting and watching with us today online and our relevant experience on our Easter Sunday. Right now, I need you to do something for me. I need you to do two things. One, I need you to just share this broadcast with someone today, a friend, family member, or neighbor. Two, I need you to comment in the section below. Let us know where you're streaming in from. We'd like to know where you're watching from, wherever part of the world. Also, Today we have integrated both campuses from Port Charlotte and here in Exuma just so we can make this experience extra special for you. But before we continue, we have gone ahead and prepared a special presentation for you today. So please prepare your hearts and be blessed. the sun where to stand in the morning 
And who told the ocean you can only come this far? And who showed the moon where to hide till evening? Whose words alone can catch a falling star? Well, I know my Redeemer lives. I know my Redeemer. is as multifaceted and mysterious as our creator. A kingdom we only see now through a glass darkly. Though we can't picture it fully, God's kingdom is the story told in scripture, from the garden to the city. And in the middle of the story, God chose to reveal his kingdom in a new way. 
The gospel is not only Jesus coming and dying to save us from our sins, it's also the story of God establishing his dwelling, dominion, and dynasty in the world. We live as both citizens and strangers, prisoners of hope in this shadow kingdom, all while knowing it's not our true home, that something better is coming, that God's perfect kingdom is coming. Relevant Online, man, I am so excited because today's resurrection experience has just been off the chain. I know y'all didn't know Shari and I had those kind of skills. Well, y'all probably know Shari had those skills. You just underestimated your boy. But I want y'all to know Jay-Z and Beyonce ain't got nothing on us. <laughs> Amen. Man, listen, I'm so grateful that you've decided to stream in with us. You could have streamed in with any other church on this planet, but yet God has connected you with us today. Day. And I believe that this resurrection experience is going to continue to be a blessing to you. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to do me a favor and like this stream. Go ahead, push a like right now. I want you not only to just push like, but some of you may want to start watch parties. Let's let the gospel reign on Facebook. Let's let the gospel reign on social media. Share this in your WhatsApp groups. Whatever you got to do if you're on our online campus, let somebody know to join you today. Amen. And I know some of you have gathered your families and you're watching us together as a family man. Thank you for watching Relevant today. I believe that today God is going to get ready to share a word with us and put a word in our hearts that is going to sustain us in the middle of this pandemic, in the middle of this crisis. I believe that God's going to speak to you in a way that sustains you. And so right now, here's what I want you to do. I want you to zone in. I want you to pay attention. I don't want you to be distracted. I want you to actually put the put it on full screen for those of you that are on Facebook. Put it on full screen. Don't you scroll off. Um, for those of you on our online campus, man, our service host are there to connect with you should you need prayer. Or should you just have a question that you need answered, man? We are so grateful. And so right now we're going to get ready to go into the word of God. And it comes from Matthew chapter 16 verses 13 to 20. It's coming on the screen for those of you that are watching. And for those on the online campus, there's a Bible available there for you. It says this, I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. Then he ordered his disciples not to tell anyone that he was the Messiah. Jesus was on the coast of Caesarea Philippi one day and he had asked his disciples who did man say that he was. The, the disciples started to tell him that some said that you were John the Baptist come back from the dead. Some say that you were one of the old prophets Elijah or Elias. And Jesus said but who do you say that I am? Peter being inspired by the Holy Spirit looked Jesus in the eye and said that you are the Christ the son of the living God. Jesus then responded to Peter Peter flesh and blood had not revealed this to you but my father the which is in heaven and he said this after all of that insight and revelation he said Peter I am going to build my church on this revelation and the gates of hell would not prevail against it but then he goes further he says to them he says that I will not only build my church but I will then give the citizens of heaven those that are a part of this kingdom those that are a part of this ecclesia I will give them keys of the kingdom and whatever they loose will be loose whatever they bind will be bound and today my topic for this message is I got the keys I want somebody just to holler I got the keys I got the keys the keys I got the keys and so today I believe that every one of us have to understand that God God has given us keys. The resurrection then is not just something that we celebrate because it gave us salvation, but the rest of the resurrection restored us into our rightful positions as kingdom citizens. The resurrection satisfied and sealed that God now was getting ready to start his ecclesia and that now he was establishing his kingdom on the earth so that we could occupy until he comes. And so I am grateful that we celebrate the resurrection today because the resurrection, watch this guys, gave us access to keys. Keys are symbols of opening and closing. Locks and keys affect our lives in various ways. Sometimes a key means the difference between freedom and incarceration or life and death. 
Keys also affect our lives in other ways. They give us security. We lock our door that no one could get in who doesn't have a key. We have keys to our homes, to our belongings, to our suitcases, to our cars. We've got keys to our garages, keys to our hotel rooms, to our boat cabins. Whenever we're away from home, the fact is we're always carrying keys. And I'm here to tell somebody today that while we may not be in heaven, we are still of heaven. And because we are of heaven, God has given us some keys. And as citizens of heaven, we possess then certain rights and privileges that those who were not a part of this country called heaven simply do not possess. The reality is that most believers do not use or understand the keys or the kind of privileges that they have. The fact is every citizen possesses keys. I need you to say it to yourself. I need you to type it if you have to say I got the keys yeah every citizen possesses keys these are not regular keys these are kingdom keys the resurrection of Jesus that we experience and the resurrection that we're celebrating is what has given us the keys that is why the events that happen in history as Jesus was crucified he was buried and as he was resurrected these events were necessary for us to have been able to lay hold of our rights in our position in the kingdom of God and there is no important moment listen to me as you're online there is no important moment to realize and understand the privileges that you have and the keys that you hold than now in the middle of this crisis in the middle of this mess in the center and the circumference of this pandemic it is important for you to realize and understand what you have who you are whose you are and what God has the ability to do in and through your lives. If you have a revelation of Jesus, if you have an understanding of who he is, if you understand that he is not a God that is dead, but he is alive, that the tomb is empty, there is something that you have now been able to experience. It was not just the resurrected Christ, but now the resurrected king can resurrect you and he can put you in a place and in a position that will allow you to use utilize keys that will allow you to live life on a different level than most people would ever experience you I got keys somebody hold it one more time I got the keys see the reason why I felt that it was important for us to preach on this particular co context today is because I believe that there are so many people that cling in Christ that live limited lives they live defeated lives all because they settle and stand at the door when they have the keys to enter in behind the door and live as kingdom citizens. See, the key that most believers don't understand, first of all, is their constitution. I believe that while we're in this lockdown and while we're in this quarantine, it is the most important thing for us to do as believers is to get in the word. Don't just scroll Facebook, get your face in the book because the constitution of the kingdom of heaven is the word of God. And this constitution gives us keys. It gives us insight. It gives us understanding on what it is God has called us to do, what we can be, and what we have access to and so the constitution of the word of God gives us the keys and helps us to understand the keys that we have and so when we think about the keys of the kingdom that the resurrection has now provided and positioned us to have access to when we think about these keys and what they symbolize just give me a few moments because this is important these keys symbolize watch this y'all wisdom and knowledge I believe that in the moment that we're in that is important for the people of God to understand that God has given them insider information that he has given them insight that most people don't have that's why I don't panic I live in peace that's why I'm not fearful I am faith filled because while the world may not understand what's happening I have already been given insight through the word of God on what is to take place the Bible tells us that when we see these things happening know that the end is not come but but God is preparing the culmination of his return that God is getting ready to come back again not as a babe in a manger that was led to a cross but he's coming back again with the with the words written on his thighs king of kings and lord of lords I've got insider information to understand this watch this that the kingdom of heaven 
is never in crisis. Hallelujah. But watch this, that there is always opportunity that when the kingdoms of this world crumble, the kingdom of our God still stands. That when the systems of this world break down, that the kingdom and the system of the kingdom still rises and is still strong because I've got insider information and most people don't understand what they have. Most people don't understand what's going on because they don't have wisdom and knowledge that comes from above. Now, I've got to tell you that the wisdom that comes from the word world may seem foolish to the wisdom of the world because the wisdom that comes from God will cause you to stare fair, fair in the face and declare that I've got faith. The wisdom that comes from God will cause you to say stuff like you could bury me in a tomb, but I'll rise myself back up again. Hallelujah. The wisdom that comes from God that says the grave is not the end. The wisdom that comes from God that says the cross is just the beginning. And that kind of wisdom seems foolish to men. That kind of wisdom seems foolish to people that are not a part of the kingdom because they don't have these kind of keys that give them insight, that give them wisdom. The wisdom of God says this, that when everybody stops sowing, I start sowing because I've got insight that nobody else has. The wisdom of God says this, that when people give up, I just start to believe even more because I understand that there is something taking place under and behind the scenes. There is wisdom that comes with understanding and revelation of who Jesus is. Watch this. One day Jesus' disciples asked him, uh, you know, why do you speak in parables? Why do you say things that people may not necessarily conceptualize right away? And Jesus replied, he says this, because the knowledge of, watch this, the secrets of the kingdom of heaven have been given to you, but not to them. Whoever has will be given more and they will have an abundance. Whoever does not have, even what they have will be taken from them. This is why I speak to them in parables. Though seeing, they do not see. Though hearing, they do not understand. That is why I like this. If you're taking notes, the truth of the matter is what you don't know will hurt you. You are destroyed because of the lack of knowledge and you can die in crisis when you should thrive in it. Crisis in the world then does not affect the principles of heaven. And if you understand the principle of heaven, if you've got the keys to the principles and to the, to the wisdom and to the knowledge that comes from heaven, crisis will not kill you. Crisis will cause you to understand that this is your greatest opportunity. This is your greatest moment. You see, when Christ was on that cross, it seemed like a crisis to his disciples and to those that was following him but God had a different perspective he understood that there was just three more days left and he was about to do something in the human in the lives of human history that the world had never seen before and I believe right now that every Bible believing kingdom citizen should understand that there is wisdom and insider information that gives you peace that passes understanding so the keys of the kingdom gives you insight. The keys of the kingdom symbolizes wisdom and knowledge. Watch this. The keys of the kingdom symbolizes access. Everybody shout access. Come on, nudge your wife or your husband or shake your child and say, you've got access. Yeah, the resurrection now has given us access. The Bible says this from the cross that the veil of the temple had been rent. And now we have access to God. But not only that, now that the resurrection has taken place, the resurrection has sealed what God had already delivered. And that was salvation. And now the resurrection not only sealed it, but now the resurrection has now positioned us so that we could have power that we could have access and that we could have authority now I don't want to get ahead of myself but why would we need access we only need access to something that has been locked up or hidden and the only things that we ensure are locked up and hidden are things that retain a level of value for us see you've got access to valuable stuff man I don't know who I'm talking to I'm no I don't know who's watching us on this resurrection side. Sunday. But I came to tell you that in the midst of this calamity, in the midst of this crisis, you've got access. Everybody holler access. 
Here's what some stuff that you've got access to. One, you've got access to the provision of heaven. I want you to know that God will not suffer you to go hungry. If the God who takes care of the flowers, if the God who feeds the fowls of the earth, of the air, and they do not sow nor reap, but yet they have food in their season and when they want it, how much more will this God not take care of you? Heaven is never depleted. The, econo the economy of the world may be depleted, but heaven is never dry. We still serve the king that owns the earth and the fullness thereof. Come on now somebody and you've got access. You've got the key to the storehouse. Come on. You've got key to provision and when Jesus rose again on that third day, he said now I'm giving you keys to provision that you never had. I'm giving you keys to a source that never runs dry. You've got keys that gave you access to provision. Keys that gave you access to protection. That's why you can declare sound 91 that says a thousand falls at your left and thousands at your right but evil does not come near your dwelling listen not everybody can claim that I know everyone can quote it but not everyone can claim it the reason why you can claim it is because you are a citizen of heaven and being a citizen of heaven gives you access to not only provision from heaven but protection from heaven come on now somebody and now not only that the principles of heaven are now activated in your life and so what do I have access to as a result of the resurrection I've got access to the provision of heaven I've got access to the protection of heaven hallelujah I've got access to the principles of heaven what are the principles of heaven the principles of the constitution it is that which governs the kingdom of heaven and the kingdom of heaven is governed differently from the kingdom of the world in the kingdom of heaven our principles tells us that watch this when I sow 10% God will bless me and cause my my storehouse to run over and flow well the principle of heaven tells me amen that when I love God and I walk in his purpose and I'm called according to his will amen that he will begin to work in all things for my good come on now somebody the principle of heaven tells me that I can walk through the water and it won't overcome me walk through the fire and not come out smelling like smoke I've got access to the provision to the protection and to the principles of heaven keys also then represent something that not just that I can have access to go in but now I've got access to get out See, if I'm locked behind bars and someone hands me the keys, they hand me the decision and the choice of freedom. Hallelujah. And so many of us are allowing ourselves to be locked out and to be locked down in things that we have power to get out of. Can I just tell somebody something? The resurrection does not just give me access to wisdom and insight and knowledge. It does not just give me the keys that give me access to the provision, to protection and the principle of heaven. But now the keys has given me the ability to get out of some stuff that the devil tried to keep me in. Come on now somebody, the same spirit then that rose Jesus from the dead is the same spirit that will quicken our mortal bodies. The same spirit that now lives on the inside of us. You see they placed a stone in front of a grave that they placed Jesus in thinking that the stone was going to keep him bound and that the stone was going to keep him in. As a matter of fact, not only did they put a stone there, but they put some guards there but can I just tell you because there was resurrection power because he was not only the, the, the truth but he was the life hallelujah and that he was the resurrection and the life no stone could have keep him in what God didn't intend for him to stay in and I'm here to tell somebody today that you've got keys of the kingdom that will cause you to get out some stuff that should have killed you keys of the kingdom that will cause you to get out of some stuff that's been trying to destroy your life keys of the kingdom that will break you free from stuff that was trying to poison your purpose that was trying to steal your future and your destiny there are some things that has been trying to destroy your anointing and threaten your progress hallelujah watch this that you don't have to stay in because you got the keys somebody all that I got the keys I got the keys you got the keys to get out of what the devil tried to keep you in you don't have to stay in mess. 
Come on now, somebody. I'm almost done, but I'm preaching up in here today. The resurrection tells me that I don't got to stay in something that people buried me in. I don't have to stay in things that will kill me. Come on. I can be free. And who the sun sets free will be free. Indeed, you don't have to stay in sickness because you got keys to get out. You don't have to stay in lack because you got keys to get out. You don't have to stay in depression. Come on. You don't have to stay, Jesus, in a grave because you are the resurrection and the life and now every citizen of heaven has the ability to get out of some stuff that the devil tries to keep them in somebody hold it one more time say i got the keys i got the keys keys symbolize power and authority then not only access but it, it symbolizes power and authority watch this let's teach this before we preach this isaiah 22 verse 22 and the book of isaiah he prophesies to the fact that god was going to give authority and power to one who would have the keys of the kingdom watch what he says the key of the house of david which in context watch this refers to the authority of the steward who manages the household of the king watch what it says the key of the house of David I will lay on his shoulder meaning Jesus and so he shall open everybody say open yeah, so that means whatever was locked in can now get out. Hallelujah. He shall open and no one shall shut. And he shall shut. That means what was out can't get in. What no one can open. And then, of course, I, from Isaiah, John the Revelation, Revelator picks up the assist from Isaiah. And John reveals this. And he lets us know the power of the death, the burial, and the resurrection. He says this in, jo in Revelation 3, verse 7. The angel of the church in Philadelphia, to the angel of the church of Philadelphia, you're right these are the words of him who is holy and true who holds what the key of David what he opens no one can shut and what he shuts no one can open and then from John the Revelator Matthew now in our text our main text lets us know that Jesus said something important and powerful Jesus said in Matthew 16 he reveals this that now we have been given these keys and that's why he says whatever you bind everybody say you bind it yeah see that's why you've got the authority to speak to some things to bind some things up come on you got the authority to stand at the threshold of your door and speak to things like viruses and say that it cannot enter come on you've got the authority to speak to poverty and cancel it over your bloodline you've got the authority come on to break some generational curses and to bind up the strong man that has been trying to keep your family back you've got the keys why because he says i gave you the keys jesus was given the keys and now he gave us the keys that whatever we bind on earth will be bound in heaven whatever we loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven come on now now somebody we have authority as kingdom citizens to open things up or to shut some things in our atmosphere we steward a power that is greater than any power on the planet we steward a power that is greater than any other power on earth and the unfortunate thing is most believers don't understand the power and the authority they possess and as a result the resurrection of Jesus now does not really activate all that it should have activated in their lives because the resurrection of Jesus reveals to us that we got power like no other we've got explosive power we've got exousia we've got authoritative power come on now we've got dunamis which is explosive power exousia which means we've been authorized and deputized by God to speak against some things to call some things that are not as though they are we've been deputized and we've been given power because of the resurrection of Jesus when you have a revelation of Jesus, who he is, understand that he is a resurrected Jesus. Come on now, somebody, the grave couldn't keep him. Hallelujah, the grave could not keep him. When you understand that he is a resurrected Jesus, when you understand the power that he possesses, when you begin to have that insight and access to the authority, it shifts and reverses things. This is what I'm trying to tell us today, that the resurrection now has given us the keys 
that tells us that we can reverse the natural order of things that's what the resurrection represents Jesus reversed and defeated death representing the fact that we can take bad and see it work for good we can take tragedy and turn it into triumph we can create opportunity from crisis and find hope when things seems hopeless that's the power we have as citizens of the kingdom of God I need somebody to holler I got the keys and you could reverse the natural come on effects of some things in this earth and cause supernatural things to begin to take place in your life just so you know our kingdom our just so you know our king doesn't just have some authority he's got all authority because you may underestimate the power you got our king cannot be impeached he cannot be overruled because when he rose again the Bible says that he was given a seat in heavenly places and he was now seated on the right hand of the Father above all rule, above all principalities and powers, above all spiritual wickedness and high places. That means he cannot be overruled. He cannot be overcome. Once he says it, that settles it. And watch this. He has already declared some stuff over our life. He's already given us keys to the kingdom. And now that Jesus is resurrected, he is not in the grave. There is an empty tomb. Can I just tell you we find out that he doesn't just have some authority but Matthew 28 verse 17 tells us that all authority in heaven but watch this not just in heaven on earth has been given to him he has power over death over hell over the grave he has power over the earth and during the resurrection he handed us the keys and he said, now I give you the keys of the kingdom. Here's what Jesus did. Here's what Jesus did while we know that silent was silent. And all hope seemed lost. The Bible says that he descended into the uttermost parts of the earth and he spoiled the principalities and powers see when kings would ride in a territory and when they would take over a territory one of the things that they would do to exercise their power and to exercise their authority that now they had come in and they had overtaken a particular colony or overtaken a particular kingdom they would now take the king that presided over that nation and they would spoil that king they would tie that king up and they would trample him throughout the streets of that particular city indicating that that kingdom had fallen that that kingdom had now lost its authority lost its rights and lost its privileges and it would take the keys of the kingdom it would take the spoils of that particular kingdom and it would begin to say that now this belongs to us and when Jesus resurrected hallelujah sorry when Jesus was in that grave on Saturday what he was doing was spoiling hell hallelujah because the devil once had the keys hallelujah of the kingdom of earth but now when Jesus went down he spoiled hell he took back all authority come on not just the authority in heaven but he took back the authority on earth hallelujah and now watch what he did he gave us that authority he gave us those keys and so this resurrection Sunday in the middle of what we're facing in the middle of this pandemic in the middle of this mess I came to tell somebody remember what the resurrection now gives you access to the resurrection gives you access to the keys of the kingdom. If you're a citizen of heaven, you've got access to the power, the protection, the provision, to the authority of God. You've got access to the insight and the wisdom that comes from God. And so don't you allow your faith to be shaken. Don't you allow fear to take over your mind and your heart. I could imagine the apostles and the disciples as they saw their Christ, the Messiah, hanging on a Roman cross. That they had given up all hope. As a matter of fact, the Bible says that Peter denied him. Some of the apostles ran away and forsook him come on now it says that Thomas doubted him because they saw their hope on a cross but what they didn't understand was the cross was not the final destination the cross was transportation to a grave that would have now been the opportunity for God to show that he is a God that exercises all power and authority over death hell and the grave and what we're going through on this resurrection Sunday I want you to know that now God is getting ready to take this mess and make miracles out of it God is getting ready to cause his kingdom to be truly established in the hearts of men
God is causing citizens to begin to activate and access the keys of the kingdom. And now this same spirit that rose Christ from the dead is the same spirit that dwells on the inside of us. And now we not only have a revelation of Jesus, but we have an encounter with him that tells us because he defeated death, hell, and the grave, there is nothing that can defeat us. There is nothing that can hold us back. And so on this Resurrection Sunday, I want you to know it's time for you to walk in your authority. It's time for you to access and use the keys of the kingdom. Understanding that you have the ability to occupy until he comes. Hallelujah. You have the ability now to walk as a good citizen, to operate as a good citizen. Here's my bottom line. The resurrection handed heaven citizens the keys that gave us access to power, protection, principles, and the provision of the kingdom. Use the keys. Somebody holler, I'm going to use the keys. Come on, somebody holler, I've got the keys. Use the keys and allow yourself to walk in a different level of authority, a different level of power that will astound this world, that will astound the wisdom of this world. Come on, I believe that God is getting ready to do something supernatural in your life. For those of you that may be watching, if you're not a kingdom citizen, you have the opportunity because of the death, the burial, and the resurrection, you have an opportunity to become a part of the kingdom of God. You have an opportunity now to enter into this kingdom so that you can hold these keys that gives you the kind of access that you would have not had otherwise. If you're watching us, man, now is the time for you to surrender your heart and your life to God because can I tell you, this king is getting ready to come back again. The things that we've seen taking place in this world is a is a sign hallelujah that now the king of our kingdom of heaven is getting ready to come and truly establish his kingdom here on earth we are occupying till he comes and those of us that are on this side are already on the victorious side already on the winning side and now i'm telling you you have the ability to access this kingdom to be a kingdom citizen so if you're watching us and you say pastor i want to give my heart to the lord man do it today do it today if you're on our online campus there's a, a banner coming across you can push that you want to indicate that your your heart is now going to be surrendered to god just push that banner come on push it push it push it if you're on facebook if you if you want to give your heart to the lord message us let us know go to live.relevantkingdomcenter.com push that hand and let us know that you want to give your heart to the lord because we want to help you to grow and access these kingdom keys that you can now hold for all of us i just want to close by saying god is getting ready to get glory it may seem like we are defeated it may seem like all is lost but i want you to know that you got keys that will cause you to be victorious, that will cause you to triumph, even in the face of death. In Jesus' name, Father, we bless you. We thank you that you've given us keys of the kingdom, that we can, as good citizens, access provision, protection, the principles, the authority, and the power of God, and walk in authority and walk in a level that this world has yet to see. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, God bless you. Happy resurrection. I'm getting ready to hand it back over to Angelique and Damari. Man, I just thank God for what he has done in our lives and in our church. Continue to operate as kingdom citizens. And through all of this stuff that we're going through, remember, the resurrection gave you the keys. Now that's how you celebrate Easter. You know what? Forget that. That's how you celebrate Resurrection Sunday. And Angelique, you did great with that dance selection. Thanks, Damari. Yes, we had a great time today. And if you felt touched by God in any way, we want to connect with you and pray for you. Yes, yeah, so go ahead, connect with the online hosts and tell them that you need prayer. Yes, we would love to believe and agree with you. As a matter of fact, here is our campus pastor coming now to pray with us and close us out. By the way, Damari, it's fun being one church and two locations because we get to do amazing things like we did today. Yeah, it was great hosting with you. Let's do it again. And now we give it off to Pastor C. Hey, thanks so much, Damari. We hope you guys are doing great over there in Florida. But man, what an amazing experience we just concluded. It is a beautiful day. We serve a resurrected king. He is risen. 
We want to say a special thank you to all of you that chose to spend your Easter right here with us at Relevant Online. We know so many of you are streamed in from all around the world and various countries. And so we just want to say that we're grateful and we're thankful that you chose to spend your Easter with us. We, if you were blessed today, here's what we want you to know. We want you to know that you can consider sowing a seed into our ministry to help us get this message to the world. This good news about God and his kingdom. We want to spread it to the ends of the earth. And so right now, you'll see a link that's coming across the screen, relevantkingdomcenter.com forward slash give. For those of you on our online campus, you can go ahead and click the banner right below me to engage in online giving. When you give here at Relevant Kingdom Center, we want you to know that you're not just giving to a church, but you're giving through a church. You're giving so that we can be the hands and the feet here in the community, here in the Bahamas, but also over there in Florida and around the world. This past week, we were able to partner with Sandals Emerald Bay here in the Bahamas, and we were able to deliver perishable items. That's groceries, the, the food stores and the, the supermarkets are extremely full, you know, all around the world. But we were able to be a blessing to so many families in this time of crisis. Yeah, shout out to RKC and Sandals for the support for the community. You guys doing a great job, so keep it up, keep up the good works. We do appreciate it. Thank you guys. Have a great one. Stay safe, everybody. Really appreciate what our KC family has done for everybody. Now the lines are long by the shop, so really appreciate it. And for us to be able to pass through this. Thank you for the Carson and the Forbes and our KC family. We really appreciate it. I'd like to special, say a special thank you to our KC and Sanders for all that they're doing in the island of Examon. They're helping out a lot of people who need uh, bread, ba bread basket items, uh, a lot of onions and stuff. Uh, they're doing a big thing and I want to give them a round of applause for all the work that they're doing here in Examon. Also this past week, our Now Kids actually went out in the community and gave out Easter baskets. Here's a little recap of what took place. It's not the darkest night Let your love be the shining light Breaking chains that were holding me You sent your sun down and set me free Everything of this world will fade I'm pressing on till I see your face I will live that your will be done I won't stop till your kingdom come As you can see, it has been an incredible Easter weekend here at Relevant. I want to say a special thank you to all of you because of your generosity. All of this is made possible. Those of you that don't just sow your gifts financially, but you sow your time and you sow your talents here into this ministry to help us further God's kingdom. We want to say thank you and we appreciate you and we love each and every single one of you again i want to say a happy easter to you and your entire family and we hope that you're able to join us next week as we continue in our series the good citizen we'll see you next sunday thank you for watching relevant online consider becoming a relevant partner with us and sow a financial gift of any amount to help us continue our mission and get the word to the world we can only do it with your generous support Visit us online at RelevantKingdomCenter.com slash give. Relevant Kingdom Center is one church in two locations, Eczema, Bahamas, and Port Charlotte, Florida. Be our guest and visit any one of our campuses. RKC, it's not just another church, it's a movement.